Hi, my name's Sammy, aka Four String Boy. This is the Vidami Blue. Hello there, my name's Sammy, aka Four String Boy. If you're new around here, new to this face, then I'm a ukulele player slash artist teacher person. Uh, usually I'm here reviewing ukuleles, but I also like to review uh, some cool hardware that I use. And this whole series, um, what I use, is all about things that I use in my daily music life. So I'm here today to talk about the Vidami Blue pedal. I've seen loads of different influencers and people been using them online. I thought they looked pretty cool because as a teacher and somebody who transcribes, the whole idea of something making video transcription playback easier kind of piqued my interest. And then they ended up emailing me anyway, so uh, asking if I'd like to review it. So. Here we go. The actual pedal itself has three different modes. It has its main kind of flagship mode, the video controller. It then also acts as a DAW controller for like Logic or Ableton. And then it's also useful as a PDF page turner. So I wanted to stress test these three guys and see how useful they are in a month of my daily working life. So before we have a look at the different modes, the pedal connects via Bluetooth and it has a rechargeable micro USB cable. Um, within a month, I haven't been able to kill the battery yet, but that's been obviously on and off with my work. So I don't know how long the battery lasts for, but it seems pretty decent. Right, let's talk about mode one, the video controller. Now this seems to be the main thing that Vidami are advertising the pedal as, as a video controller. And basically it allows you to loop, slow down, rewind, go forward and pause uh, a variety of online videos, such as YouTube or anything as your browser, but basically by using it with your feet. So whatever the task is that you're doing with your hands, whether you're learning with an instrument, whether I've seen um, sewing tutorials, etc., uh, it just means that you don't have to stop what you're doing and you can instead control it with your foot. So one of the biggest parts of my job is transcribing music. So I have to go find the song, listen to the song, or listen to somebody playing a version of the song and basically find it, work it out in the UK and then write it down in scoring software. It involves lots of basically tapping, rewinding, putting the instrument down, picking it up, rewinding, pausing, and frustration. So once I connected the pedal via Bluetooth, all I had to do was download some software and it basically adds as a, for me, a Safari add-on, but it works with Chrome, any other browser, and then you're pretty good to go. So in the last week, I've been writing a cover of MGMT's Kids. And again, that's involved listening to the video, pausing it, doing it, listening to it, etc. And so the what the main things I found helpful are the loop feature is actually fantastic. So trying to listen to a vocal melody on loop and trying to hit it and then accidentally go past it and use the trackpad. So just by entering a loop and exiting a loop, just by tapping on the foot was super easy. Also the little rewind button on the corner, fantastic. Just takes it back five seconds and I can quickly listen to that again. What was really nice, but shouldn't surprise me, is that the speed controller, so you can slow down, obviously the track doesn't affect the pitch at all. And obviously that's that's a big thing for me because as soon as it affects the pitch, then it's no good to my ears. So keeping that nice steady pitch allows me to transcribe that much easier. I'd also say that the layout of the buttons is pretty easy. We have five buttons, the back, play, pause, forward, speed, and loop. And to be honest, they were all where I thought they should be. The only ones I got mixed up occasionally was the speed and loop, but it didn't take long. Now talking about the speed settings, the initial ones is basically your video obviously starts at 100%. You tap the speed, it takes it down to 75, tap it, it takes it to 50. YouTube already does this and you can customize it. But one of the cool things with the browser add-on is that you basically have different modes for the speed controller. So for example, one of them is that it starts at 40% and then it adds, I think it's five or 10% and then it adds five or 10%. So it's essentially speed training, which on your instrument is perfect. It also has what it calls a speed electron one where you can basically just speed through some boring stuff. Hopefully you're not doing that me. Listen to me 100%. But it also allows you to add your own presets and speed changes. And basically, as soon as you inputted that, refresh the video and then it works. So let's talk about mode number two, which is the DAW controller. And in all honesty, this is the one that I was excited for the most because 
I constantly use Logic on my Mac. At the moment, the audio that you're listening to right now is controlled and recorded via Logic. And also when I'm writing and composing, I'm also playing in and writing in Logic. So I use a DAW every single day and the idea of having some shortcuts where basically I don't have to leave my instrument was pretty exciting. Now I'm saying I use Logic Pro, but obviously it works with GarageBand, Ableton, Pro Tools, um, Reaper are good ones. I'm on a Mac, but apparently it also works with Windows PCs absolutely fine. Now, in order to switch modes on the Vidami, you have to hold down a certain combination of keys. Um, I've never remembered what these combinations are, ever. Thankfully it comes with a manual and online it also tells you, but um, they're kind of, yeah. I haven't remembered them at all. It's kind of the equivalent of trying to remember a cheat code on the PlayStation. Uh, and so I wish there was a mode switch where you could switch between the modes. I think that would make it much easier because like I said, I'd, maybe it's me being stupid, but I just can never remember the three different switches for each different mode. Once you're into DAW mode though, the back button now works as record, which is very easy. Just tap that, starts recording. Play and pause works as play and pause and the forward button works as a click on or off you can also skip through and cycle back forwards and backwards with the speed and the loop at the top now the star of the show for me is ultimately hitting record with your foot so when i'm making these videos basically i'm here looking at you this i have to dive across my office to basically hit record on my computer which is over there so at the moment now i can just kind of do it on my feet and for this entire video i've been using the vidami and for every video i've made this month i've also been using the vidami it's been one of those things that now i'm used to it it's i don't want it to be taken away that's it it's a tiny it's a little convenience but one of those that makes recording my videos just that much easier and for me Saving time and hassle is worth everything. One of the little features that I didn't realize until a good couple of weeks in, because I don't read, is if you hold down the back button, which is the record button, sorry, microphone, is uh, it undo, it undoes, it undoes, it undoes, it undoes, it deletes, it deletes the track that you've just recorded. So whenever I'm recording uh, a, a ukulele cover video, I'm going to I'm gonna mess it up and fuck it up quite a few times, okay? So basically, rather than having to go over there, pause, delete, start from the start, I can just hold down that back button and then it erases my take and then I can record straight away without moving and without it kind of interfering and me getting annoyed. And another weird scenario where the Vidami saved the day for me was we were recording a music video in the apartment and basically um, I had to play the track from my computer. It's a desktop, so it's in here. We were recording in a different room and basically having to hit play on Logic and run to it was a silly idea. So instead, we could just bring the Vidami pedal to us and my wife, who was filming the entire thing, just basically clicked on the play button and it started playing instantly without either of us having to leave the camera or the setup. Again, just convenience. So mode number three, this is its PDF page turning mode. And I will be honest, I've always wanted a PDF page turner. I've seen pedals that act as this dedicated thing. And for somebody, you know, who when recording covers realize I write all my music down and write so many covers that I need the PDFs available, having something again that can just turn the page as I'm playing so I don't have to put the ukulele down or switch it is a godsend. I've mainly been using this with, I use an app called Four Score, and that kind of saves all my scores in it. That's on the Mac and on the iPad, and it works tremendously very well on both. But actually just on preview on the Mac, it works a treat. It still recognizes it and turns the page. So that's made my, again, teaching life and learning life much easier. Now again, to get into page turning mode, you still have to hold down a different combination of buttons. And again, can't remember these for the life of me, but uh, I have to write them all down. You have to hold loop, back, and then tap play. You always have to hold two buttons and tap one, but again, a mode switch would be much appreciated. So the pedal in this format couldn't be easier. The forward button basically turns the page to the next page and the back button takes you back a previous page it's really that simple. Two buttons and you can manage that quite easily with basically just having the concentration on what you're playing. 
One cool thing also I found that if you're using it on a browser to read chord charts or lyrics or anything like that, where it's not a PDF page, where it's just a browser, then if you use the forward and back, it scrolls up and down for you. So uh, uh, again, it's one of those situations where you know, you're playing and you're like, oh no, wait, shit, got to scroll and put everything down. Ah, there we go and play. You can kind of do it with your feet and it feels weird to start with, but once you're used to it, it's very easy and again, doesn't stop you playing your instrument. So I will admit, my time with Vidami this last month has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, and each mode has kind of, I've used each mode individually. They've all been great, apart from the forgetting how to turn into each different mode has been a problem. But basically, it's, it's been fantastic. Now let's talk about price. So the Vidami retails for around 250 euros, which is about $230, uh, which at first I was like, mm, that, that's, a, that's a lot of money. However, I, I wanted to be fair and do some research into it. And basically looking at just the Bluetooth page turner pedals alone, which is one of the functions that I'd Primarily in the in the chain of importance on the Vidami, I'd put at the end, the very bottom. Uh, they're roughly around 110 euros anyway. So straight away, that's we're getting to like 40% of the price just on that tiny function. And again, the video controller and the DAW controller are definitely the ones that are being shown off the most, the video controller especially. So actually for the money, if you split those three different things aside, Actually, I was like, that's, that's worth the money. Now, it's very easy for me to say that because Vidami did send me this pedal for free, so I have not paid a dime for this pedal. However, um, if I did pay 250 euros for it, it's kind of, again, it's that long, I'd see it as a long-term investment for me. It's saving me time on each of my tasks daily. And always, always, it's always those big things that you have to spend out, but kind of, that's it. And again, 250 euros for a lot of people isn't a lot of money. For me, it's a lot of money, but for a lot of people, it's not. So but 250 euros in the music world isn't very much a lot of money on a pedal. So something that has three different functions and saves you all this time, I'm a big fan of. Vinami sells their pedal through their website, and that's mainly for US customers. If you're here in Europe, then I suggest going to Toman instead, uh, so you don't have to pay all the big shipping fees. I've put the link for both down in the comments and Vidami have been very kind and basically given me a 10% off uh, code for you guys from their website. So if you are in the that side of the world, then go check out the pedal and you've got a 10% discount. Also, I'm always interested in technology that's going to save me time as a musician or that aids my job as either a musician or a teacher. So if you ever have any suggestions of things that you want me to look at, please drop them in the comments or send me an email. I'm always happy and I'm a big nerd for this shit. And the usual, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe or death. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. See you very soon.